ప్రవేశించాడు స్వామి సర్వలోకానంద్ జీ ఫ్రెండ్స్ ఇట్ బి గ్రేట్ ప్లెజర్ టు వెల్కమ్ యూ ఆల్ స్పెషల్ వెల్కమ్ టు స్వామి సర్వలోకానంద్ జీ సెక్రటరీ ఆఫ్ రామకృష్ణ మిషన్ ముంబై ఫర్ గ్రీన్ టు సైడ్ ఓవర్ టుడేస్ ఫంక్షన్ at uh, the observer research foundation we are truly delighted to have uh, archbishop machado as the speaker today <coughs> friends uh, how do i introduce our speaker i have known respected machado for many years now and yet i think that uh, to do a proper introduction i have to seek the words of swami raganathananda swami raganathananda described a true man of religion as one who has god who is involved with engaged in godward prayer and man world love this description truly applies to respected machado i much before i met him for the first time and i actually met him uh, in the vatican city for the first time but many years before i actually met him i was introduced to him through his book Naneshwari uh, my favorite bookshop in mumbai chetna bookshop at uh, kalagoda i saw this book naneshwari path to liberation and who is the author father felix machado it immediately uh, made me deeply interested and when i read the book i felt i have to really come across a better introduction a better explanation of tanishwari by a hindu of course they must be i have to read but this was truly enlightening friends um, the preface to this book is written by <coughs> great man and it's only today that i came to know uh, what a close association archbishop machado has with the person who has written the preface to this book and that person is none other than raimundo panikar who passed away very recently I didn't know at the time that uh, Akashok Machado actually studied under Raimundo Panikar. But when I read the, in the preface, it said a lot both about the book and the author. Let me just read out a few lines from here. this book presents a rare quality and it will become a seminal work for a still relative relatively virgin field that comparative recessive the author himself and his book and his own family belong to the very place where daneshwar lived some 700 years ago dr machado resonates positively and emotionally with the spirituality of that fascinating young man sant daneshwar who some assert died when he was only 18 years old i have personally witnessed the author's inner stirrings while writing some 15 years back his doctoral dissertation on the topic the entire book is carried by an inner vision of the divine which shows that the way to god is not by despising anything of the splendor of the creatures but only in discovering the true order of things which requires bhakti karma and jnana 
all in Christian language, love, faith and hope. This is Raimundo Parikar. <coughs> when I learned that uh, we actually studied under Raimundo Parikar, I mentioned to him before the, today's event began that uh, he was really, truly such a great man that uh, the befitting thing for us to do is have a, a separate function just to pay homage to Raimundo <coughs> Parikar. One of the greatest scholars of comparative religion and a great champion of interfaith dialogue and of course one of the finest authors on religious matters, especially on Hinduism. Friends, I had read his Mantra Manjari and I have not come across a better introduction to the Vedas than what Raghundu Parikar wrote. In paying homage to him, we have used a small quotation from Raghundu Parikar which is very apt to today's occasion. He was, as some of you know, he had an Indian father and a Spanish mother but lived most of his life, certainly early life in Spain. I left Europe for India as a Christian. I discovered I was a Hindu and returned as a Buddhist without ever having ceased to be a Christian. So he discovered God's grace, God's life in all its splendor. It reminds me, friends, of Ramakrishna Paramahams. We have a representative of Ramakrishna Mission today, Swami Sahaja Kanamji. Ramakrishna Paramahams was also a great sage who did not just study different religions by reading books. He wanted to experience every single religion. <coughs> And at different stages in his life, he became a Christian to understand Christianity. He became a Muslim to understand Islam, a Buddhist to understand Buddhism. So he, he wanted to see God and the divinity in all its manifestations. Swami Ramakrishna Paramahamsa writes, so knowledge alone leads to unity and equivalence to disunity. And for unity, friends, we need dialogue. For understanding each other, we need dialogue. And we have gathered here to engage in interfaith dialogue. And who better than Archbishop Pachado? tell us about the importance of interfaith dialogue, especially in the context of Hindu-Christian dialogue. India is home to all religions and every religion belongs to India equally. We don't discriminate between one and another. There are differences. Sometimes these differences become divisive but we must have the understanding and tolerance to negotiate these differences and never, never allow them to create conflict. This dialogue needs to be undertaken in a spirit of mutual respect, mutual faith, mutual trust. And friends, by way of introducing our speaker today, let me mention to you that I had the honor and privilege of participating in a very important interfaith dialogue uh, which was held at the Vatican and I had gone there at the personal invitation of uh, Archbishop Machado who then was a very senior official at the Pontifical Council for Interfaith Dialogue. So the Pope's Council on Interfaith Dialogue along with the World Council of Churches, Geneva, had organized a global conference on a very sensitive issue that is conversions. It was and continues to be 
an important topic of debate, both in India and abroad. But what really impressed me is the open-mindedness with which Archbishop Machado and uh, the other organizers of the conference conducted the six-day conference, which in my view produced a unanimous document which I consider an important milestone in interfaith dialogue. Friends, in the course of this conference, I came to understand a very new meaning and rather a profound meaning of the word conversion. You know, we understand conversion as something from one faith to another. But Archbishop Machado and others, they enlightened me during that conference that there is another meaning, that is conversion within one's own faith from a lower self to a higher self, to a, a low level understanding of one's own faith to a higher level understanding of one's faith. And this, is, this again is something that every religion has emphasized, be it Islam, Hinduism, Buddhism, it's not enough for us to be just denominational Hindus or Christians or Buddhists or Muslims. We must understand and not just understand but grow in our faith. And that is conversion of a true kind. I'm sure that today all of us will be enlightened by the talk on this very important subject. I am very happy to see in the audience representatives of uh, important religious establishments. We have uh, Pratimaji who represents uh, Brahma Kumari establishment. We have uh, Sri Ramchandran who is a representative of uh, uh, Swami Nityanandji's establishment in Ganeshpuri. We also have, and I am truly delighted to welcome him here, Sri Arun Mehta of Vakil's uh, public publications. Uh, I was introduced to Sri Arun Mehta and his organization by this book, by Chandrika, who is also here in the audience. It is Sri Ramachandra Ji's Atma Siddhi in search of the soul. Friends, I have something to say about this because uh, one of our subsequent uh, events at the Observer Research Foundation is going to be a talk by Chandrika Ji on Sri Srimad Rajchandra Ji. For those of you who don't know, he was a spiritual guru of Gandhi Ji. So, enormously significant personality in Indian history. And she's going to give a talk next month. We'll let you know the date on uh, Sri, Sri Madhraj Chandraji. We are very happy to have you here. So, I welcome you all once again for this, uh, what I consider to be a satsang. All of us will return to our homes more enlightened. I'm sure of that. Thank you very much. Uh, you know, give his talk. May I request both him and Sarv Lokanandji to offer, on behalf of all of you, uh, floral tributes to Raimundo Panikar. Archbishop Felix Machado. <laughs> 